Oh, yeah. It was big fun, wasn't it? But the bill is now in for the Eagles Super Bowl championship parade. Eyewitness News has the breakdown of who paid for what. Our Alicia Nieves crunched the numbers and joins us now from Center City with the facts and those figures. Alicia. Well, Yuki, we all know the Philadelphia Eagles parade was a major event for this city, and we now know it comes with a pretty major price tag. It cost millions of dollars. Most of that money went to pay city employees for overtime, and most of those employees, city police officers. A little over two months after the first ever Eagles Super Bowl parade in Philadelphia, the city has released what it cost to host this historic event. How much do you think it cost to put on the parade? I would estimate about probably six, seven million dollars, just as an early estimate. Five million dollars? I would say like two million. Two million. You're actually pretty close. Yeah, yeah. two point two seven million dollars the total cost yes. for the parade. I think it's worth it if you grew up an Eagles fan. I don't know when the next time is going to happen. Unfortunately, <laughs> I mean it was a great year for the Eagles, and hopefully it happens again soon. But. Philly deserved it. Of the $2.27 million parade price tag, the city says the Philadelphia Eagles have promised to pay $273,000, the cost for property damage repairs along the parade route. The state is kicking in $500,000, but the rest, about $1.5 million, city taxpayers will pay. It was too much, but on the same token, for us to have a championship, I do it again. Some Eagles fans like Jeffrey Staley of West Philly say the parade was more than a celebration for a sports team. It boy unity. It boy unity. It made people think about good times, how the city is, brotherly love, so forth and so on. Still, others aren't so sure it was worth millions of dollars. There's other things going on around that, you know, the budget could be going to. So I ain't gonna spend that much money on people going up and down the street saying hooray. And Mayor Jim Kenney did issue a statement earlier today about the parade costs. And in that statement, the mayor said it's estimated that the two playoff games at the link prior to the Super Bowl brought in $2.3 million in additional wage and parking taxes. With that factored in, I'm comfortable that we were able to stage an enormous and nearly flawless celebration while still protecting the interest of taxpayers. Live on the Art Museum steps where the parade ended just two months ago. Alicia Nieves, CBS. Three Eyewitness News. Well, it seems like it was yesterday. Alicia, thank you.